Okay, uh, this is another solid state battery. Uh, also, two spaced detergent and iron oxide. Uh, the difference uh, from my previous batteries is very simple. Uh, <clears throat> to make a solid state, uh, to make a solid state electrolyte, I used water, and then I, <clears throat> I oh, what can I? Uh, how do I say that in English? And then I dried it to make a solid state. But this time, I never used water, just to use the toothpaste, iron oxide, and then uh, <clears throat> detergent. And this is the result. Uh, I like solid state better because it's very thin and flexible. Uh, of course, as you know, uh, I can increase the voltage as, why, as I want. Uh, <clears throat> but uh, I find it very hard to increase the amperage. So nowadays I am focusing on uh, increasing amperage. This is uh, one kind of experiment to increase the voltage. Uh, not voltage, amperage. Mm. Ah. As soon as possible, <clears throat> I'll make a video about my battery experiment to record what I uh, to record what I have done. By the way, uh, <clears throat> just two point five volt, and then. <clears throat> Amperage looks also not good. Uh, from this experiment, uh, we can learn. We can learn that um, <clears throat> we must to make a uh, solid state electrolyte, uh, which is a cathode in a battery. We must uh, use water, uh, just tap water. We just uh, make, we just use water, water detergent, toothpaste, and iron oxide, and and then we can make a wet solid state, ele uh, wet electrolyte and make it dry. When it is dried, it becomes a solid state electrolyte, which is a cathode in a battery. Uh, from this experiment, I learned how, uh, how, uh, how important, how importantly water plays a role in a battery. Okay, have a nice day.